Hi, this is BB. Um, so I woke up, I went to sleep last night, maybe between 11 and 12. I don't know exactly when I was turned off. I have, like I said, I have this app on my phone that it's supposed to be risk record your sleep cycle, like any noises you make, you're snoring, you're talking in your sleep, any background noise, anything, um, even flatulence. Um, well, because I'm overweight, I do. A, I snore a lot. I guess I suffer from minor sleep apnea as well. Um, I mean, it never bothered me before because usually I wake up. It never bothered me to that extent. I'm overweight, but as you can see, I you know I still have neck space, so it doesn't really. Um, woke up last night just as, just as I was falling asleep. Woke up to the, to me saying something about China in my sleep. I don't know anything about China. I never been to China. Um, I made a statement. I woke up in the middle of making a statement. Now I don't know if I said something even prior to that, but it was just the sound of my own voice that woke me up at that point. I, I made a statement about China. Now I don't know. I actually sounded like a man. It didn't sound like myself. I sounded like a man, like a man talking. Now, I don't know what these people are doing. I, I have no idea what they're doing, what experiments they're conducting with me. I don't know. I have no idea what this is. I, I, I said it out loud. Now, I had already set up the app to record everything, which it should have recorded what I said about something about China, including my reaction to it, because I was like, what is that? What is this about China? I woke up this morning, I checked the app. There's nothing on there that that, that, that included. There's a lot of snoring, cat, my cat pottering around. And not even that, because when she goes in the litter box and she scratches, she's pretty loud. It didn't really pick up my cat a lot last night. So... Uh, she could not have possibly have slept for eight hours nonstop. There's no fucking way that could have happened. It didn't pick up many much cat sounds. <clears throat> and that but in particular, I know because I woke up and I was like, what am I saying about China? It's not on there. Now, how, how do you, if it's picking up other noises, it didn't malfunction as far as I know. Why didn't, why was that not recorded? What I actually spoke in response to what came out my mouth during this falling asleep period, I, in response to that, I was like, "Why am I? What am I talking about? China? What is this?" It was loud and clear. Why? Why didn't the app pick it up? So, th with that being said, I don't know. Again, be careful of what these people are doing. There are people out there who have been terrorizing people for years, terrorizing kids teenagers, grown adults, old people, all kinds of things they're doing. They have older people who don't have um, anybody and the old people might have some money and they have some property. These people are going to target those people. They're going to target them because they see property and they see money. They're going to target them. I know they're going to target them. I'm not saying the, 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 the couple that is doing this to me or behind all of this is going to do that. But I'm saying the people like them. It's like a, this is their work. This is their job. They all have the same handbook. It's like a conveyor belt, a factory type situation. They have jobs. They do the same thing. I don't know where this started or how it started. But now it may have started um, on foot, but now it's actually being done electronically and technologically and, you know, um, via the Internet, telephone. It's, it's being done on a more a larger scale because this will connect people. The Internet connects people. They're hacking. They see what assets they have. They see their communication. They see they don't communicate a lot with the kids. They don't have any. They can get all the information in a flash. Don't underestimate hacking. This is why they hack. They hack to find out. They can 
In, in about 10 minutes, a hacker can probably look at your information and see what's what. Who communicates with you? Family, friends, how often? And then they know if you're isolated or not. And they're getting better at it. So you got to be wise with this. The government needs to really start doing something. They, they need to start doing something about it. They have to actually start being looking at all the possibilities, especially older people. Who would want to see somebody do this to an older person? Well, a younger person, young people who can defend themselves is one, and older people who really can't defend themselves either. I mean, I'm having such a hard time, but nobody's believing me. Nobody's believing me, and this is what gets me angry because I really was hoping law enforcement would have started paying some attention. Maybe it's my delivery, is the way I speak it. How do I go about being heard? How do I go about having a voice in this in this society to say to have people look at what's happening to me? Because it's not just me. I'm not unique in this sense. It's happening to lots of people out there. The same thing. Or something similar. How is, how is it possible that we're all out there nobody? This is the reason why they're blaming um, police and law enforcement. Because they're supposed to protect us. They're supposed to listen to us. They're supposed to protect us from these bad guys. And they're not doing that. They're not doing it. Now, I was speaking about this China. It didn't show up. Now, I'm not sure if if they can clone my phone. One thing I noticed is my phone was at my head side. Now I have a queen size mattress and bed spring. It was close to my head, just on the, just, just, just like in level with my head. When I woke up this morning to look for it, it was down at the foot side of the bed, at the foot of the bed. How did it, my phone traveled down there. If, Anything, it would have gotten caught up in the blanket and come under me, not travel down to the foot of the bed. What does that mean? Could it have been my cat? Sometimes I wonder if they're, they're spraying something or, or, they're, or they're putting something in my food. Because I was gone yesterday with my friend for about two to three hours. We spent, we spent um, talking, you know, talking about various things. And... Um, I had my camera set up, but after three hours, the camera, the, it stops recording automatically. And after then, I guess somebody could have come into my house. But what is it that they could have done? Put something in the food. I was just about to eat before I left to go with my, my friend yesterday. I had some food in the microwave and I put it in there. But I didn't get a chance to take it out. And my microwave will beep like every minute, 30 seconds, beep, beep, if there's food in there. If it, if, if it's, it's not was opened and the food taken out, like that opening of the door um, resets whatever alarm is built in until, you know, whatever. And when I came home, I didn't hear the beep anymore. But I'm pretty sure the bowl was all... Um, squeezed in like this and I, I, I it was my friend had, had given me something to eat and I was gonna say um, I even called her and said the bowl seems to be damaged that I was going to replace it you know so I don't know what happened there there is a possibility they might have put something in the food I'm not sure but I don't know this is scary it's very scary it's either that or they're actually they can make me sit up and do things, delete things on my phone, and I can't remember. I don't know. I don't have the kind of money to, to go under some type of hypnosis to remember. I don't know. I wish that I could. That, you know, to, 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 go, to be able to go to um, somebody who can just put me under some type of hypnosis that I can, I can remember maybe what I said and what questions were being asked to me. Now, I don't know. I'm making this video because I don't know their motive. Why would they have me saying things in my sleep? Why would this woman target me? Why target me? Is it because I know them? Is it because I know the boyfriend? 
Well, I don't know him, but I've seen him. What have they done that is so bad that they have to go to these extreme lengths to frame me? Because that's exactly what she's trying to do. She's trying to frame me for something or the very minimum blackmail me. Either trying to frame me or blackmail me. Now, if they had anything already, the blackmail would have been set. They would have already said, well, this is the deal. They wouldn't still be doing this. They would have had the holy grail that any blackmailer would dream of if, if they had something of. You know, because they're following me around. But obviously they're still doing it, which means they haven't hit that holy grail for them yet. They're still waiting for that one thing, that one thing that they can record or that one thing that they can they can witness or have somebody else witness and uh, uh, to really get me, which to which I say, take it to the police. Like I said, and I meant it. If they can see me anything, whether whatever they want or whatever they want to see, whether they see me in a pedophile in a pedophile act, they see me shooting somebody, beating somebody, hurting somebody, it doesn't matter. Take it to the police. Because if they come to me, I might have to say that they're trying to blackmail me, and that's going to be an added punishment for them. And I'm sure they don't want that. I'm sure they don't want that because I know how these people are. They're going to go for the extreme things like pedophilia. Me, I never had a child in my life. I was an only child myself. I didn't grow up around children. I was always like an adult minded person. I don't have kids. I don't have kids around me. There's nobody here that has any, you know, any, any small children. No. So I don't know. I don't know what what they're going to do, um, what they're trying to do, what they're trying to say, but I want them to take it to the police. Whatever it is, they need to take it to the police. But apparently they're not doing that. They're still looking for more, which means they really don't have anything. They're trying to fish. Now, the thing is with them, with this, 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 whatever the thing is here, uh, this, this voice, this call, if they, they could make me say anything in my sleep then, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, is it past memories? Is it movies I've seen? What, 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 did, what, what can they make me say? I'm just curious about it as much as they do. I wish I could hear some of it. If they're talking about anything, anything at all, I don't know. But this is how disgusting they are. Me? One thing, maybe it's my age or what, but one thing I'm worried I care about is my soul. Is my soul. Or my relationship with the Creator. I'm not interested in anything or anybody like that. And this woman, somebody got to bring her down. She is flying too high on a high horse. Somebody going to have to bring her down. Put her down a peg or two. Because listen to me carefully with this. For them to do this to me for so long, can you imagine what they have done? Can you imagine what they have done to people? And that uh, chief handler, that chief handler, I'm not sure, but that might, that person might be related to them or somebody, I don't know. Because what he's saying, I said yesterday on a, on a video or two days ago that I can't retain a train of thought. And then somebody deleted the comment. See, this is what I say. This is the unfairness to this, that they can just reach into your life and delete what they want. Nobody should have that power unless you're dealing with law enforcement. And I'm sure these are not law enforcement. Law enforcement wouldn't do that. Why would they delete it? What would be the reason that they would delete it? This is somebody who's petty and really is fumbling. They're petty, they're fumbling, and they really don't have a plan. They're just winging it as they go. Petty, fumbling, and winging it as they go. They don't, they're just making shit up as they go along. They don't have any military training. They don't have any of that. They're like 
It's like I call it throwing spaghetti on the wall. Whichever one stick, it sticks. This is what they do. I did that once. I was in my house when she, when I thought that the, the neighbor was being abused and she had disappeared into her house. I sat there and I surmised tons of things. Now within that surmisation or those surmisations, something must have struck a chord. It could have been something that they were doing to me that I was saying. And then they began to get worried. What if she really knows? And what if subconsciously it comes back? See, this is the thing. This is the thing right here. What have they made me do? What, what did they make me do? What did they make me say? What happened here? What are they trying so desperately to, to they're trying to kill me. And if it, if it doesn't work, then they have to have some alternate plan. What did they do to me? What did these people do to me? What did they do to me? I mean, I don't know. They lived very close to me, so they had access to me. My door used to be open a lot. So they had access to me. Because I they had no reason to feel I didn't trust them. She was just a woman living by herself. Most of the boyfriend used to come and go, you know, until he, he would come and stay a long time. But nobody was really there. It was just her. And we lived in, we're in the back of the place where, um, in the back of the place where, uh, uh, I'm sorry. <sighs> See? Every time, like, the click or whatever, I don't know. But anyway, um, we lived in the back where nobody even knew we were back there, so I felt pretty safe. Everybody, you know, not everybody, but the people who live in the yard, the window was open. But they, I'm pretty sure they have nothing to do with it. If these are the ones who seem to be bothered mostly, then they had nothing to do with it. One of the things be before I moved from California was that I was in the back, like a two weeks before. And a guy, a UPS guy, I think, came with a package, two boxes. I looked at the box. The box had the guy's name at the front. I said, who sent you back here? He said, the guy at the front sent him back. It had his name on it. It had his name on it. How could he send it back in the back of the yard? What I should have done, what I should have done was take, was, was send it back. But I didn't even think much about it. I was like, okay, let me sign for it. You know, like when you get caught in the moment, you don't, you don't really think much. You just act. I signed for it and I left it in the middle of the yard and then somebody moved him. I guess he came for his package and he found it. I guess, I hopefully he did because it has his name on it. But what I should have done normally, what I would have done is just taken it back and say, hey, did you send it? You didn't look at the package, you know, just to bring it to his attention. Because I can't see you says, okay, there's four people living on the property. You're going to say, you didn't look at the package. You're going to just say, refer to the back. Now, why straight to me? I don't know. I don't know. But that's that's the whole point. It's like, I can't see why, because if, if I was living at the front, I just say it's at the back. I would look at it and look to see if my name is on it. It was right at the top. I would look to see if my name was on it. So I don't know if that was a setup of some kind to make me sign something. I don't know. Or sign for something. I don't know what was in it. I have no idea. I don't know what was in it. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. So be careful. If you're talking in your sleep, be careful. If you don't have somebody, and most of us are, are, are single people. Most of us are single because they isolate. One thing they seek to do is to isolate, isolate, isolate. It's, it's easier to get to one individual than to get to, to two or more people. Because... If you have two or more people saying they are smelling the chlorine, that'll bring some investigation. They will send people and look to look. And they might find traces of something somewhere. And that'll validate their story. Then they will, they probably will move them away but to a safe place. But be careful with that. 
Watch to see if you're talking in your sleep. These ones that I'm dealing with, this is what they do. I don't know what's their agenda, but I guess at some point I'll find out. I don't know.